You've been a new boy once, when you were uh, taken to a remote yeah. boarding school yeah. run by Spanish monks, I believe. Spanish monks, yeah. With what emotion did you make this film? Anger? Sadness? It, it came from anger. Um, and I think that's why it took 18 years, because it came from the wrong place. You know what I mean? And it, it was a little bit black and white. There was no shades of grey. I, I always say that I wrote it as a child and I directed it as a grumpy old man. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's taken a long time, but that's, you know, I, I don't think you should ever write from anger. You should, you should light the spark with anger and then actually get warm mm. and use the light to, to see properly. That's, that's, you know, but don't use that anger to, to keep moving through your, you know, your life or the, the script that you're trying to create. Yes, and I was surprised actually just how much, and this is going to sound really sappy, but just how much love was constantly infused into the, like in into the shooting, and the the the, the genuine attempts of, of of the nuns to sort of facilitate and not destroy the boys. You think yeah. you you look at you look at a nun holding an indigenous boy, and you think, uh oh, yeah, yeah. I know what's I know happen. what's going on. Yeah, exactly. And and Warwick as a filmmaker, yeah, probably as a person too, is always trying to subvert those expectations. And I think the film really, really does that. Sister Arlene. Aswan Reed, who plays the new boy, he's he's a non-professional. He's a true new new boy. Yeah. You are a very non-professional. I'm exactly. also a non-professional. Yeah, yeah. So how is it working with them? Well, we couldn't have made the film without Aswan, and it was I mean it was an enormous technical and physical feat. He's in every frame of the film. Yeah. And so if we hadn't found him, there would be no film as wonderful as Absolutely. Warwick's vision. We had the money, was. but we had no ad, mm. we had no new boy and that, you know, there was so much not fear and you know afraid. But, but he's you know, he had so much um, Discipline, having never sat on a film set before, and so much curiosity. Like he wanted to know what every department did, and by day two, totally hitting his mark because he realised that if he didn't, he would be blurry. He wouldn't be in focus, so, yeah. and yeah. here's a boy who does not want to be blurry. He adapts so, like in the film. Yeah. But how yeah. do you adapt as a as a very professional? Well, actor? I have four kids, <laughs> three of them are boys, so I, you know, I I love young boys I, I find them so thrilling to be around and not only as one but the boys in the monastery they were they were so extraordinary and they everyone on set just mm. fell in love with them and they they sort of created this buoyant um, a atmosphere, atmosphere which I could not have predicted because normally I give you there's a you know and their families were also really included in the, the, the process and because we were in rural South Australia we were all away from home we were staying in this little mining town yeah. and every, it was a wonderful thing that, that um, Warwick did with Nick the, um, our editor it's every Friday night would Warwick could sort of give this <laughs> master class on, on editing so that they could see themselves up there and they could see this is why we do it so many times and this is why we shoot it from so many angles and they would cut it together and sometimes they'd cut it together like a comedy and then sometimes yeah. they'd, they'd cut it together like a tragedy so they could see what they were part of and they watching watching they all just went like from from zero to a hundred in like two days yeah. and so I was so humbled by that 